A local principal beat the heat today by taking a little dip in the pool, but it's not what you might be thinking. that kind of pool. That's Brian Malavar, principal at Panama Elementary School in the Southwest. He took the plunge today after his students read more than 30 million words in the month of February. He wanted to wait until the weather turned a little warmer to spend all day in the water. Turned out to be a wise choice since his students were excited to see him in the tank all day long. Their aim's been pretty good and um, some of them were sneaky and came over and, and hit the target without throwing a ball. Yeah, so it's, I've been in and out of the water quite a bit. Malavar took the whole thing in stride, saying it's all about getting kids to read and staying eager to learn. This is now live. Kelly? Jackie, I'm standing in front of the Marriott, and right behind me inside, local contractors are meeting with the rail authority. And it was earlier today that a decision was made about a potential light rail, a high-speed light rail location right here in Bakersfield. There are still months of negotiations before uh, construction can begin on the project, and those behind the project hope that high-speed rail will be up and running by the year 2025. Reporting live from downtown Bakersfield, Kelly Johnson, 23 ABC. 23 ABC's photojournalist David Kaplan was at the festival and has more. Three, two, one. Oh! I think I just got a small piece of pie and lucked out on that one. That's that was the only strategy I had. <laughs> It's a really good family event for all the people to come here. More activities than what you would think just driving by onto the freeway. They should stop and really come in and see the place. I like the cherry point. I just went woo! 12 years ago, we developed Murray Family Farms out here at Highway 58 and General Bill, and we've been having cherry festivals pretty much every year since then. That uh, every year it's gotten bigger and more popular. That uh, we have today, we'll have. Uh, more than a thousand, maybe two thousand uh, adults and children. Wait for someone to say your name. <laughs> the cherry festival activities. We have uh, pie eating competitions for adults and children. We have cherry seed spitting competition. Wagon rides onto the farm. This year was a better year because we had colder, wetter winter, and with that, we got better chilling on our cherries. But I would say that we went into this this cherry season having one of the best best crops I've seen. At Murray Family Farm's annual cherry festival, families sampled a variety of cherries, went through picking, spat cherry seeds, and got messy in pieting contests. I probably stuffed about half of it up my nose, so that was probably the reason. Like, you know, when raising your plate, I'm still trying to swallow everything. I really liked it. I didn't know all these activities were here for the kids. I really enjoyed it. My daughter loved it. The bouncy thing over there, she really enjoyed that too. The El Nino winter has made a major impact on the farm's fruit this year after years of drought. This year was a better year because we had colder, wetter winter. And with that, we got better chilling on our cherries. But I would say that we went into this cherry season having one of the best, best crops I've seen. Cherries, strawberries, nectarines, and other fruits can be found now in the peak of the farm's you pick season. And kids can learn about agriculture, butterflies, and diet. If you take a look at California, one in 10 of our youth are actually getting the recommended amount of fruits and vegetables in their diet. And by coming out here where, the, where you get the flavor of fresh picked fruit and have that experience as a family event, is really encouraging your kids to not only eat healthy, but also to be healthy because there's walking around uh, is good exercise. The Cherry Festival isn't the only event Murray Family Farms will be having in the near future. Later this spring, they'll be having the Sunflower Festival. Reporting in Southeast Bakersfield, David Kaplan, 23 ABC.